let's see, um, uh, more and more people are agitating for the U.S. military to fight in Ukraine war. How do we push back against this? It's not America's war. There's no American interest. There's nothing to be gained. Um, yes, there's, there's Ukrainian freedom, but uh, I mean, this is the question to ask yourself, every single one of you, and to ask the people agitating for this. Would you look your son in the eye and tell him to volunteer to go fight for this war? Would you look your son in the eye and tell him to go fight in this war and risk their lives for the, for the Ukrainians? Why? It would be total sacrifice. There's no American interest here. There's a general interest in promoting freedom in the world, but that's not what the American military is, was, is uh, there to do. It's there to protect the lives and property of Americans. Lives and property in Americans are not being threatened. I think we should help the Ukrainians fight this war as best we can. Now, Europeans, I think, need to think about this differently. Uh, is will if if Russia wins in Ukraine, will they settle for Ukraine or will they go further into Europe? Um, are you worried about that? Is it easier to defeat uh, Putin in Ukraine and not risk him attacking a NATO country? Uh, I still think the Europeans probably sit this out and wait for Putin to attack a NATO country and then crush it. Um, it, it, it. Just the risk of nuclear threat right now with an unstable Putin is just not worth it. So uh, that's my perspective. Um, if he attacked a NATO country, then they have to act. I, I talked to a friend who lives in Finland. He thinks Finland is going to ask for NATO to join NATO. Uh, uh, he also thinks that Russia could attack Finland and NATO would help Finland a lot, but, but you know, if Russia attacks Finland, Russia's finished. Finland is much better equipped than Ukraine. Fin the, the Finnish army is a much better army than the Ukrainian army. Finland would crush the Russians, the smallest Finland is. It has a massive technological advantage. It's being, as he said, Finland has been preparing for a war with Russia for 80 years, since the last war it had with Russia in 1939. And uh, it is ready. And uh, it would be another massive mistake, military mistake, political mistake for Putin uh, to go after uh, after Finland. And if Finland joins NATO, forget it. I mean, Russia is, is history if it attacks a NATO country. It really is. It really is. There's, I think. I think. Uh, I think you just. But I don't know how you how you change that fact without risking nuclear war. And nuclear war is a big deal. It's a big deal. Having hundreds of thousands, millions of people die in a war like that, that's a big deal. So I would say stay out of it. it it's not, you know, it's, it's too big of a sacrifice. Europe, be ready to fight a Cold War with Russia, maybe, uh, uh, and, and invest in your military to fight a hot war with Russia, uh, just in case he, he wants to expand beyond uh, Ukraine. Uh, but I think it's going to be bogged down in Ukraine. I think it, this is going to be a war that's going to last for a long time. It's going to deplete Russian resources. It's going to make them poorer and poorer and poorer and poorer, as wars always do. Um, and ultimately, I think the Russians will have to back off. Um, how exactly that plays out, hard to tell. And maybe they just accept poverty. As I said in the past, in a past show, Russians are pretty good with suffering. It's one of the things that uh, uh, characterizes the Russian culture. It's acceptance of suffering. They've been suffering from since Ivan the Terrible, really. Uh, every attempt to westernize Russia has failed. Catherine the Great tried, uh, and it was a complete failure. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, when I said nuclear war is a big deal, that does sound like a bit of an understatement. I, I'm talking about, let's say, localized nuclear war in Europe. I mean, millions and millions of people are going to die. It's it's just, it's, it's not, you know, as much as, you know, I value freedom for Ukraine, I'm not willing to put the lives of millions of people at risk for that. But it has to be very, very clear to Putin that if he crosses a certain line, and they has to, the red line has to be the NATO line, and it has to be unequivocal, that he will be crushed, crushed. Conventionally, and if he uses nuclear weapons, nothing will remain of Russia. I mean, nothing will remain of Russia. Now, whether any foreign leader is willing to say that, I don't know.
Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Book Show grow, please consider sharing our content. And of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.